Today we're going to start examining ideal voltage amplifiers in preparation for looking at operational amplifiers, which we're going to use our basic gain stages to design. So, the conception that we've had for a voltage amplifier in the past is that we have just a single voltage stage that has a voltage gain VO over VI equal to some voltage gain AV. And the input and, and output impedances are such that the source and load don't influence the gain. Of course, a real amplifier has finite output and input impedances. And we have to account for those finite input and output impedances in our gain calculation. So if we were to take a calculation of V out over Vs, our source uh, voltage source, uh, for the above circuit, we would see that we'd have two voltage divisions to account for. The first one would be Ri divided by Ri plus Rs, the impedance of the signal generator we'd multiply this by the voltage gain of the ideal amplifier. And finally, we have a voltage division at the output, RL divided by RL plus RO. Now, in the limit, when RI goes to infinity and RO goes to zero for our transfer function, this becomes just AV, just the voltage gain. So the characteristics of an ideal voltage amplifier are that Ri is infinite, and Ro is zero. So what are we going to use these amplifiers for? Well, we have a few applications uh, ob that are fairly obvious. So we can use them for audio amplification. Of course, we can also design them to be RF amplifiers for cellular services and wireless services. They are going to become op amps, which are really the backbone of a number of analog circuits, such as analog computers, we have integrators, differentiators. and the like. They are going to be used heavily in analog to digital converters and digital to analog converters. And of course we will also use them for filters and medical instrumentation. And we'll look at a few of these examples as we go along in the class. So in the next set of slides, we're going to start looking at what makes an ideal operational amplifier so that we have a target to aim for when we start designing our operational amplifiers.